In this video, you will learn how to set up your MLA Works Cited page. Let's get started. Your list of citations will be at the end of your paper on a blank sheet. There are two ways to do this. In your current document, go to Insert and Page Break to start a new sheet. If you use a page break, your font and size will not need to be adjusted because it will already match that of the rest of your document. The other way is for you to open a new Word document. Go to File, New, and click on Blank Document. You will need to change your font to match that of your paper by clicking the arrow next to font and scrolling down or typing the name in the box. Do the same with the font size. Click on the arrow next to paragraph and change your indentation from none to hanging. A hanging indent starts the first line at the margin while subsequent lines are indented without having to tab or use the spacebar. Change the line spacing to double and the after spacing to zero. Then click OK. Because the heading needs to be centered on the page, click on the center icon. Or if you're like me and prefer shortcuts, hold down the control button and hit E if you have a PC or command and E if you have a Mac. Notice your cursor has moved from the left to the center of the page. Type Works Cited at the top of the page and hit Enter to start adding your citations. While Works Cited is centered, your citations will start on the left side of the page. So click on the left icon or for a shortcut, Control L for a PC or Command L for a Mac to move your cursor back to the left. This is what your citations will look like. If you have any questions about MLA or your Works Cited page, don't hesitate to contact us and we will be more than happy to help. 